I like both Steve Coogan and John C. Riley, but if I hadn't heard a lot of good things about this, I probably wouldn't have watched it. Because the subject matter here is Laurel and Hardy, the legendary comedy duo, and it just didn't look that interesting to me. It's just not the kind of thing that draws me in. However, I did hear a lot of good things about it, so I decided to check it out. And I'm glad I did, because it's way better than I thought it would ever be. I probably wouldn't call it great, but it's pretty good. Mostly because of the performances. I mean, these two basically embody Laurel and Hardy. And it's all about these two characters. It's about their comeback tour in England. In the 50s, I think. And it's all about their relationship and what happened between them, years before. And how they're dealing with all of that, and where they stand now. Essentially the movie is about friendship and the struggles these two went through. That's the heart of the movie, and I gotta admit, it turned out to be sort of a sweet and touching movie. Again, mostly because of the performances, these two are just great in it. And I noticed at one point that this is probably the first time ever. I've actually forgot I was watching John C. Riley. I like him a lot, but I'm always aware of the fact that it's John C. Riley on screen. But in this, I completely forgot about it for most of the movie. Some of that is the makeup, for sure. But he's also a lot more toned down and subtle in this. I mean, I've always known he can act. I've seen him in more dramatic roles before. But I feel like in this, he just became that character. And I just completely forgot it was him. And Coogan's good too, really good. But I was always aware of the fact that it's Coogan on screen. And while on the subject of performances, the wives kinda surprised me. They were really good. They got a fair amount of screen time too. And they're important to the story. And they pretty much steal the show when they're on. Which I definitely didn't see coming. But it's a pleasant surprise. I enjoyed those parts a lot. Now about the comedy in this. Especially the type these two did, which is very basic physical comedy, with a lot of bits and gags. And there is a lot of that in this, a lot of it. And some of it still works. I don't know why, but it just works. But when it doesn't work, it doesn't work at all. And I thought the contrast was very interesting. How some of it still works, and other stuff just doesn't. I mean, there's some stuff in their stage act where I'm literally confused. The audience is laughing, but I don't understand where the joke even is, or why it's supposed to be funny. And I guess people did enjoy that back in the day. I mean, they must have. Simpler times, I guess. But again, some of it is still funny, on some basic fundamental level. It's the kind of stuff that was probably funny back in the caveman days, and will always be funny. But there's also more natural comedy in this too, just between the two characters. Funny interactions and banter, no bits or anything like that. And that stuff definitely worked, and I enjoyed it a lot. But the heart of the movie is the more dramatic stuff. That's what made this movie stand out. These characters just feel so genuine, which comes down to great writing and acting. And that really carried the whole movie. Because the direction and all that other stuff didn't really stand out to me, in a good or a bad way. It just worked and sort of blended into the background. But this is all about the characters and it handled that part very well. So yeah, would I recommend this? Absolutely, it's just a sweet movie about two friends. So probably check it out. Or don't. But you should. However, I'm still not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need an extensive collection of black and white movies. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.